So Carl Hamilton away, uh, what's your thoughts? Same as previous few games since the split, you know, we just want to want to win the game. And um, it was a setback Friday night against Dundee, thought we were we would probably boss in the possession, we were just sloppy and put the goals the other way. So we'd look to correct that tomorrow. But you know, they'll be sure they'll be buzzing from staying up on the weekend. So yeah, so we just gotta go into it with them, just focus and, and do what we do. Hopefully come on top. How important is it to still maintain that focus at this late stage in the season? I I, I believe it's it's it is important because I think you're going to next season, you know, on the back of a couple of losses, you know. Doesn't really look good to be if you keep winning, keep winning games and keep getting that winning feeling. You know we can only hold it in good stuff for next season. So I'm sure. Well, the gaffer, the boys won't down to us, but the gaffer was even if he tried to. To be honest, so. Um. So yeah, so like you say, it is important to keep up the momentum. So hopefully we can go into these next few games and wins. And John is picking up manager of the month today, which is always nice. Um. You know, how do the guys feel about that? Is, is that a boost for you, something like that? I don't know, he hasn't played any games, has he? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's fair play, fair play to him. You know, he, he works just as hard as anyone on the training pitch and um, he gives us the tools to win the game. So, you know, we only do what he, he asks us to do and, you know, if that wins his games, then obviously he's doing his job well. So, you know, this month I think we've been, we take Friday aside, I think we've been pretty solid and, you know, we've played some good football. So, yeah, nah, good on from your own point of view, how do you reflect on the season? Personally, or as a team, um, I think it was a bit slow getting started. I think I missed the first six or seven games and the Europa League games, I missed them with injury games. That was quite frustrating. Um, but if I'm being honest, I don't really want the season to end because I think at the minute um, you know, I probably found a little bit of form the last couple of months. So, but hopefully, like you said, the full momentum, I can take that into next season. But. Oh, it's nice to get a you know get a full season on the belt and you know, hopefully I can I can improve and kick on even more next year. Do you feel you're someone who you need a, a run of games in? and in particular I suppose in defence it is not necessarily easy to work your way in, is it? No, I think t to be fair to the gaffer, the last the last few months he's he's been he wants his full backs to sort of not just run around ahead of the shippings, but you know, he wants us to express ourselves and you know, if you're making a that and run across the centre and ask them just, just expressing yourself. So I tried to do that the last few months and I feel as though you know, I've had a few good chances, you know, maybe I should have had more than a couple of goals this season, or maybe five or six, but I said something next season I'll look to I look to work on. But um no, at the minute I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying football. So not a number of guys still out of contract, uh, your score members. Are you do you talk to them about that? Are you convincing any of them to try and sign on? I just it's a hard. Th I don't want to. I don't want to like sort of give like people false hopes. There's a few of the lads obviously in there. You think, oh yeah, we'll keep him. We'll keep him. We don't. You, you've got nothing to worry about. You've done well, but we don't know what the manager's thinking. So I don't really want to, you know, get people's hopes up and then they, they, don't, they don't get off the deal. But you know, they've got a couple of games. If the manager's still undecided on on players to 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 show them that you know they deserve a contract. Um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to not be in, in that shoe, shoes at the minute, so you know, I can't imagine how difficult it is to not know where you're going to be playing your football next season. Um, so if, if I give them any advice, it'd just be, you know, this last week, get your head down, last two games, you know, make the most of it. Um, just try and make an impact on them and show the manager what you can do. How much of an upheaval is it when you're in the situation where you, you don't know what's happening beyond summer? Um, to be honest, I think I've only, I've only ever been in that situation once, and it was when I signed for Inverness. Um, and having a family, you know, it's definitely not nice. Um, you know, you got you got bills to pay and mortgages to pay, so um, you sort of look back at the season and think, well, have I done enough? And if I haven't done enough, then you know, you're kicking yourself. That's why you know it's an old cliche, but you know, you got to play the game like it's your last, because you, you don't know where the next contract's coming from. Um, so yeah, so it's difficult. So like I said, you know, you got to just keep working hard and hard and hard and do things what other players aren't doing. Um, and that's what I've tried to do myself when the times when I went playing, when Shinbom was, was playing, and <clears throat> I'm thinking to myself, right, well, you know, I'm going to the gym Saturday nights after games, and I'm just trying to improve my fitness. And so when I do get a chance, and you know, I'm up and down for 90 minutes and show the manager that I can do it. So I just, just, just want to work hard, do things that other people don't do really. And, 
hopefully it's not zones.